welcome back to my channel welcome back to another florist's video <gasps> i am very excited for florist's new collection but at the same time i feel it somehow comes too fast too quick i just feel like i just finished another florist's new product review video and come around again new florists this time is a pearl collection and today's video please do watch until the end because we will have two giveaways one is a florist's new jade flawless pressed powder and another one is this lovely new pearl collection lock lipstick so throughout the video i will talk about how you can participate today's giveaways then i will pick two lucky subscribers new. this new pearl collection is designed for chinese valentine's day so according to chinese calendar on the 7th 7 is chinese valentine's day also this collection is co-branded with susan fang i didn't know who's susan fang until now and she's actually very famous Susan Fang is an independent Chinese designer. She is a master of hand knitting to demonstrate her discoveries and innovations of Oriental culture. As my video's tradition, let's start from the packaging first. First of all is the eyeshadow palette's packaging. This time's packaging is very attention to details. It's very much just like a beautiful gift box. You can just give out as a gift as it is without additional wrapping paper. This is the covers of the eyeshadow palettes. When you tilt the box, can you see the small reflection on the box? That's like a pose reflection. When you open, you see a lovely card in the middle. And when you open the box, you see the lovely eyeshadow palettes on the top and that's start from the bottom one you take out the box when you open it i'm sure you're gonna give a sound of wow it is a florist with susan fun designed necklace which is on my neck like this it is a silver based material and if you see here you have a florist's logo over here and over here is like a glass plastic beads with pearl at the end and the great thing about this necklace is you have a little adjust dot over here so you can go shorter or go longer what i would recommend that if you wear for example like a shirt v-neck shirt if you go to work you can shorten this one let this dot literally sit between the bones in the middle then imagine you have the shirt v-neck open it looks very very elegant and classic if you have a long v-neck dress or just top like this i would pull it down slightly like this It is very very cute in there and it has good weight therefore you do feel it's good quality then come to the most important which is the eyeshadow palette this time they have two eyeshadow palettes one is 520 and the other one is 521 520 is chinese like i love you numbers because the pronunciation is very similar as to pronounce i love you so 520, we pronounce 520. When we say Chinese, I love you, it sounds 我爱你. So 我爱你, 520, very similar. <laughs> Hence, Chinese use numbers as a symbol of love. That's the reason behind it. Let's start from the palette of uh, 520, which I use the palette to create the beautiful I look all you can use as bridal look today the tutorial is also included by the way this time the eyeshadow palette they made it much more smaller and more sleek if you look at the size this is my hand size and the palette is literally just like half of my hand size 
It is very slim, very sleek, very easy for traveling as well. And have a look at the details of the packaging. It is literally designed like a pearl white. And when I tilt it, have a look at the reflection. It's literally have the reflection of natural pearl. When you open, you see a small brush over here and then you see the lovely four colors presented to you. This time, the two eyeshadow palettes I'm going to present at the same time. This is 520 and this is 521. And they have a beautiful concept behind it. They call it Sunrise and Moonlight. How pretty it is! The color, especially 520, is literally reflect sunrise when you look at the colors. And when you apply on the eyes, it literally look like a sunrise, what you would see the color reflecting from the sky. It is so, so pretty. Both palettes have four colors in there. However, the formulation is slightly different. Let's have a look, 520 first. The lightest color in this palette, when you swatch it out, it is more like a satin finish. It's not a completely matte. It, when you reflect it, you feel it's more like a skin reflection in there. The second color, which is the main color in this palette, is more like coral salmon pink, which is a full matte. This third color, which is a beautiful, stunning glitter color, is literally like a beautiful space dust dropped on your eyelid. It is so pretty, so fine, and the glitter, when you tilt it, it gives you a very, very fine sparkle look on your eyes. The last one, which is the dark brown color, it is more like glimmer. So it is not a metallic reflection, neither matte, neither satin. It's more like sheen, beautiful, very fine sheen color. But the other palette, 520, the more purple base palette, apart from the glitter color in the middle, the rest of the three are matte colors. When you swatch them on the hand or use on the eyelid, they are very, very smooth, very easy to be blended out. And the glitter color on this purple base eyeshadow palette, it is also very, very pretty and stunning. It has a slightly more pink purple base color and the glitter color compared to the 520. 520, it is more like sky stars reflection. This one has a little bit more base color in there. After using quite some time about these two palettes, here's are my thoughts uh, from the whole experience of using it and the whole feeling of those colors. I feel this time the design is more towards soft, lady, romantic, and more natural daily wearable compared to the palettes that they've designed before. The pigments of those palettes I feel are medium. It's not extremely strong as some of the palettes that they have before, but you absolutely see the color and it's effective on your eyes. Compare those two palettes, myself would recommend 520, which is this one. The reason is because of the color combination. This one, although those two colors are slightly light, but they have a lovely, slightly stronger brown color, which is help you to define the eyes structure a little bit better. And those four colors, when you work together, you see, even the color is a little bit brighter or a little bit towards, you know, coral pink. It doesn't cause additional puffiness on the eyes. So it would be more friendly for more people. On the other hand, this more purple base, 521. Although those, when you look at those four colors are very soft, very ladylike, really nice. However, the challenge I have with this palette is I feel it's lacking of a define color, lacking of shading or slightly darker color to help you define the eyes. Those four colors, when you apply on the lid, they are more brighten up colors. So if you are puffy eyes like me, or you are single eyelid, 
you, uh, you need to be, be careful of using this palette. You cannot just finish your eye look on its own. You will have to mix with different eyeshadow palettes. So I will insert the picture of using this eyeshadows over here. To define my eyes and make my eyes less puffy, I had to use contour shading color to really contour my eyes first and also finish with a stronger brown color to define the out corner which you reduce the brightness that come from those four colors so i'm not saying this is a wrong color combination or is a bad color combination but i just feel the other palettes which is this one would suit more people this one would suit people that if you have a fairly slim and defined face structure and you have a fairly good structure of your eyes on its own already then you use this one there is no problem but if you are similar like me a little bit of hooded eyes puffy eyes or single eyelid i i would recommend to go for this one instead then let's talk about the lipstick start from the packaging again the lock lipstick has come in this lovely little box again when you look at the details when you see the reflection you will see like little pearl reflection over there and the whole box is giving you a very romantic perfect gift for valentine's let's put it that way absolutely on the spot when you open again you see the lovely card in the middle and this time they also included a very very cute things in their collection is the little pearl sticker which look like this They have different size and you can use for your eye look like this or you can stick on your face. This is very cute, very cute. And you see the lovely lock lipstick as well as this time a little lid which is different compared with the lock lipstick they had designed before. So I show you the difference. This is one of their classic one. So you have the lock lipstick and then you have like little drape over here. This time it's not a little drape, but it's more like a little bracelet and made the whole shape look like a handbag, mini handbag. And the details have a look over here. Besides, have a look the design on the actual lipstick. When I tilt it, did you see the pearl reflection on there? It is a pearl white base, but has, see, the beautiful sun reflection. It is very, very attention to details. Again, come on to the lipstick itself. The covering, the attention to details is as usual. <laughs> Thumb up to that. This time they have two colors. Again, one is M520, one is M521. So this is a 520, this is a 521. You see the difference straight away. 520, it is very energetic, bright, bold, tomato red. And this 521, it is more rosy color, mild rosy color. Both lipsticks are matte finish. My lip color today, it is actually mixed with this too. <laughs> very pretty. Frost's lipstick is pretty much a no-brainer. If you like the formulation, you just need to pick your preferred color. And this time, obviously, you have different design. For this little hook, or I would say bracelet, actually, you can use as a bracelet. <laughs> Let me show you. So you see a two hook at the end. So all you do, hook them together like that they made it literally like a bracelet buy your makeup then get a bracelet and necklace okay said all of this i think some of you probably already fast forwarded to the tutorial that i made it the face look today it is very soft romantic 
and also can be used as a bridal look. Although today's tutorial is many use this palette, I'm sure some of you would also interested in the look of this palette to want to see how this would look like on the eyes. I will insert more pictures at the end of this video. If you're interested in this makeup, keep on watching. And in that tutorial, I will talk about how you can participate today's giveaway. As you guys have seen so many times of me prep my face, so we're going to fast forward this bit. Foundation is better to choose the foundation that matches your own skin tone. And make sure you do apply some foundation or concealer or uh, primer, eye primer on your eyelid. Again, it's to help to provide a clean base. Now come to define the structure, I'm going to use liquid contour and the highlight product from out of office. I put over here is to help reduce the puffiness from the eye. Now the full face it looks clean. And then we set with powder. We're going to use a mix of powder. One is start from timid to this one. Use the like matte lighting powder to set the under eye area. Then I change to Flores' new Jade Flawless Loosing Powder, which is number 05, the light lavender color, to lighten up the T zone and center of my face. You can see here, straightway looks way much brighter than the edges. Then using another Florence's loosing powder, which is 05, is more peach undertone. As this look is very much also suitable for bridal look, so Attention to details are the difference from bridal look. Then pat this powder just on the area where you would apply blush. Can you see a hint over here compared to here? Can you see the when tilted, it's a little bit more, right? Then for the rest of the face, you just use the translucent powder. Now as we're using this powder, so here's the rules of participating in this giveaways is, first of all, is to subscribe to my channel. The brow shape doesn't need to be too sharp. Just follow your own natural brow shape. Firstly, I'm going to use a brow gel. Then pretty much just to fill up the gap. Today we're going to do the contour first before we move on to the palette. You, you pretty much just kind of go over the cream contour area. Firstly, start from the first color.
apply it all over the eyelid but kind of just below the area that you apply the contour so from here going up and come down same color for the under eye and then dip into this lovely main color for today where we start is to start from the bottom towards out corner over here then move downward then continue this way to build up the color pigment you like just a zigzag zigzag move down make sure this color doesn't extend too further out maintain this area the further you would go is just at the end of your out corner come down the highest point of your cheek and then linking back to your inner corner so it's kind of within this area once you're happy with the pigment under here and then we can start apply the color for the upper lid again start from out corner closer to the lash line move towards the inner corner pat the color close to the lash line and then just zigzag moving up and the left and the right when towards the end connect the up and down and the bottom and join this two area and sweep towards the end of your eyebrow then change to a slightly smaller brush dip into the same color kind of uh, continuously building a little bit more towards the out corner then use a small brush dip into darkest color to depth the color follow your lash line just get the color on there first and then just literally smudge this color on your lash line then wing out slightly and then the same for the color for the out corner closer to your lash line then extend it out to like that then let's do the eyeliner before we do the shimmer color for the eyeliner i recommend to use a brown eyeliner the black one could be a little bit too sharp for the eye look then we're going back to the dark brown color just to define the out corner a little bit further now come to the shimmer color firstly i'm going to use the florist's small brush that come in the palette just to wet the smaller end then dip into the shimmer color it's a beautiful beautiful shimmer color then where i'm going to apply is if you see my double eyelet line i'm going to apply follow the line but above it from the inner corner towards the middle of the eye and then use finger to apply only a little bit just under your brow well then just use a smaller finger dip into the shimmer same shimmer color then apply it just under the eyeball Don't worry if it extend a little bit, we will add it a small pole in here. Like that. Now the eye look is 99% finished. We just need to add the pearl. But have a look now. It is very soft, so romantic, and you can use this eye look as a bridal look. It doesn't matter, take a closer look, take a picture, you turn your face, you wink. It's all the details are in, all the details are in. For the pearl one, 
It's very, very cute this time. I'm go only going to use the smaller one. So cute, right? So cute. For blush, going to use Maybelline's Fit Me, this one. The, again, l connect the extension of your eyeshadow. Start from here, extend it down, and then sweep just gently. Then use this lovely lock lipstick. Do you also want a new Pearl Collection lock? lipstick then here's the second route please do follow my instagram over here as well as floris's instagram account Do you like today's video? Do you enjoy the tutorial as well? I really, really like today's look. If you ever struggle with Christmas gifts, even Mother's Day's gift, or your girlfriend's birthdays, you know, gift ideas, Florence's this pearl collection can be another idea for you. So you can also hashtag or at your boyfriend's partners, husbands, you know. If you want to receive this as a gift for Christmas, maybe. Now you are at the end of today's video. Now to tell you the last little step you need to do to participate in today's giveaways is to like today's video. So there are four things that you need to do. One is to subscribe to my channel. Two is follow me on my Instagram as well as Floris's Instagram account. And lastly, two, thumb up today's video. What I will do is I will give slightly longer time because my last giveaway videos, uh, some of you messaged me that they didn't see the video until a few days after. So this time I will leave it slightly longer. Last time I think I only lived for three or five days. This time I will do seven days. I will do seven days waiting for you guys to complete all four things then to participate giveaway today. Uh, don't forget the... Giveaway items are two. One is the Floris' New Jade Flawless Pressed Powder and the other one is today's new Pearl Collection Lock Lipstick. So I will pick two lucky subscribers. One, you will have this and the other one, you will have the lipstick. I will announce the winners on my Instagram. So as you follow my Instagram, you will see the update. Hope you liked today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any thoughts or comments about myself, about this video or about florists, please do leave any of your comments down below. I always, always check it out. Thank you once again for watching. Don't forget, don't forget the four things. I will see you on my next video.